here with head coach of the Drexel Dragons, Denise Dillon. Uh, Denise, you grew up in Philly. Yes. You played college basketball in Philadelphia. You've coached your entire career there. <laughs> uh, talk about your Philly roots and your favorite parts of the city. Well, I feel Philly is the best place for uh, basketball. So I've been extremely fortunate to uh, do all of what you said, play and continue to coach in Philadelphia. Uh, favorite places, I would say um, the Loop down at Kelly Drive in West River down by the Art Museum. Uh, and then there's plenty, I can't, don't even have time to rattle off all the great <laughs> restaurants and uh, pubs in town. What makes Philly fans so passionate? Uh, the, their passion, their passion yeah. for sports uh, makes them the best fans. Uh, their drive and, and desire to uh, see teams succeed and just their competitive nature. Now you're involved with the many community outreach programs. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it so important to you to give back to the community? Just again, being in a, a position working with young women, uh, you're preparing them uh, for the next step in their, their life. And you want to make sure they're enjoying the opportunities that they have uh, at this time, mm -hmm. but they're, they're blessed uh, for everything that they're given. And you want to make sure you're helping those who are in need, you know, Children's mm -hmm. Hospital, uh, the homeless community, uh, mm -hmm. just again, any opportunity you have and finding the time, uh, there's nothing better and more rewarding than giving back. Speaking of time away from the court, we know how rare off days are for coaches, mm -hmm. even off season, in season, you know, it's hard to get away, but what is a day, an off day for Denise Dillon? An off day would uh, consist of uh, biking, uh, hiking, yeah, either the trails, uh, at any time I can spend with family, with yeah. my nieces and nephew, so tracking them down in any sporting event that they're a part of. What's the best lesson you've learned as a coach? Oh, best lesson as a coach, that's a good question. Uh, patience, Yeah. just remaining patient and yeah, continuing to uh, stick with what you know and, and teach. How have the patients been so far this off? So far, so good, <laughs> not too bad. Talk about some of your, uh, maybe some of your mentors, you know, that outside of maybe family members, you know, maybe coaching mentors out there that made Denise Dillon today? I'm so lucky to have uh, the best coach uh, in Harry Peretta as a mentor and uh, Stephanie Gately who's now at Fordham. Uh, I, since I was young they've been a part of uh, my playing career and then uh, coaching career and they're always willing to do anything and everything to help me continue to grow in the profession and personally. So uh, two great people uh, who've really mm -hmm. helped me along the way. Let's uh, talk about the DAC pack a little bit. You, okay. know, you guys have uh, you guys have a pretty loyal fan base there at sure Drexel. Sure do. Uh, how rewarding is it to see that at times when, at, at your home games? Yeah, there's nothing better than having the support of your students. Uh, them just showing uh, what we're about, you know, the, the mm -hmm. program about Drexel University and them being a part of it uh, is so great. And mm -hmm. getting to know our players, our players getting to know them, uh, it's in the DAC it's tight and when you have that DAC pack uh, working on all cylinders and uh, screaming at the top of their lungs uh, you feel you have that home court advantage. Absolutely that's awesome. Denise yeah. Dillon thank you so much sure, for joining thank us you. today.